Shocking news. Ibn Fibin destroyed his own Dara career. Watch what happened. I only find Jesus being identified as the Messiah. Where? In the Quran, in the Hadith. In the Quran, in a Hadith, for example, when we talk about them being Rusul, right? This puts them at the same thing as being a Messiah. Right? Really? Yeah, somebody so, who's so bringing where, a message. Where is, where, okay, so what is the reference for that? Like, sure, is, is, I, it, is it in the Quran or a Hadith where you can equate a, that, a Rasul, like you said, right? Sure, to, to a, messiah. a Messiah. No problem, I'll get you on that. Come back next Sunday, we'll bring you some books. Okay. So I asked you, is there anywhere in the Quran or the Hadith yes. where anybody else other than Jesus mm -hmm. is called the Messiah? Yes. You said yes? Yes. We would like to warn you that the level of deception here by Uthman ibn Fibbin has surpassed anything that we ever expected or have seen before. What is that? This is from the Musannaf of Ibn Abi Shayba. You know what that is? Uh, no, what is that? Uh, it's a book of Hadith. In the Musannaf of Ibn Abi Shayba, volume number 6, page number 479, this is the Hadith Sanadan, with the Sanad, with the chain that reports about Ta'adir. You know what Ta'adir is? Is the punishments that were handed out. Okay. So here is the entire Sanad. Hadathna Abu Bakr, Hadathna Al Waqiyah, Al Mubarak, Al Hassan, Al Amr. You understand the chain, right? It says, تخليص هذا الضرب والتعذير هذا بيننا من شريعة مصاحة. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Why is he saying the chain of the hadith with all the names and then not reading the words of the hadith and going straight to the footnote pretending it is the hadith? Why is he not reading the hadith? The hadith is up above. Why is he reading the footnote written by the modern editor below it? Unbelievable. I thought he studied the hadith. Graduated from the Islamic University of Islamabad with a master's focused in hadith. You understand the chain, right? Is he trying to attribute the chains to the words of the modern editor who wrote the footnote at the bottom? That's very naughty. Trying to corrupt your own hadith with the words of a modern person? What's going on? Graduated from the Islamic University of Islamabad with a master's focused in hadith. It says, what? تخليص هذا الضرب والتعذير هذا بيننا من شريعة مصاحة. Oh my goodness, his Arabic is terrible. It doesn't say that. I don't know what language he was speaking, but it was not Arabic. And he read the sentence from the middle, which doesn't make any sense for anyone who reads and understands the language to read a sentence from the middle and not from the beginning of it. Let us read the full sentence in Arabic properly. I'll stop and start to translate as I'm reading through it. It says, فَانْظُرْ عَزِيزِ الْقَارِئِ إِلَىٰ عَظِيمْ شَرَاعَ الْإِسْلَامِ So see, dear reader, how great the laws of Islam are. أَنَّ الْقَوَانِينَ الْوَضْعِيَّةَ فِي عَصْرِنَا الرَّاهِنَ قَدْ اتَّجَهَتْ هَذَا الْإِتِّجَاهِ بَعْدَ كَثِيرٍ مُعَانَاتٍ وَطُولَ عَذَابٍ لِلنَّاسِ That man-made laws of our time have moved towards that direction after much suffering and torture of the people. وَمَا زَالَتْ بَعْضِ الْبِلَادِ إِلَى الْآنِ لَمْ تَتَخَلَّصْ مِنْ عَادَةِ الضَّرْبِ وَالتَّعْذِيبِ هَذِهِ بَيْنَمَا الشَّرِيعَ الْمَسْحَاءِ قَدْ جَاءَتْنَا بِهَذَا الْحُكْمِ وَاضِحًا سَهْلًا And some countries have still, until now, not got rid of the habit of beating and torture, but the gentle sharia has brought us this ruling clear and easy. We'll stop here. As you have seen, this is an editor's note, starting with, Dear reader, for goodness sake, not a hadith, Mr. Shameful Othman Ibn Fibbin, and the editor is trying his best to draw a comparison between the laws of the sharia and the modern day reality in the Muslim world, according to his view. It is a modern comment by a modern editor. It is not a hadith. And in his comment, he did a typo. Instead of saying, Al-Sharia Samha, which means gentle Sharia, which is a very common title given to the Sharia, as we will see later, by everyone in the Arabic Muslim world, he made a small typo. He switched the letters around to something that resembles the word that Uthman ibn Fibbin wants it to be. He wants it to be plural of Messiah, but it isn't. It's just an adjective for the Sharia, meaning gentle Sharia. Even when typing in the incorrect phrase into Google, Google corrects it and brings up the edition of the book where it's incorrectly written, and it happens to be what Uthman brought. Ironically, the only other website that brings up this error is a Shia online library, a sect that Uthman ibn Fibbin disapproves of. So you are going to a random Googled website, right? And I'm just saying Shia because the name, right? If anybody wants to be kind enough to bring that typo to their attention, 
Here are the details of the editor and the publisher of that particular volume. Shame on him and his lack of Arabic knowledge and his arrogance. Let's continue. Masaha. You know what Masaha is? What is that? It's the plural for Masih. First of all, it's not Masaha. It's Musaha, which is the plural of Masih. And this word Musaha does not exist in the whole of Islam. Okay? The plural of Messiah in Arabic, Musaha, does not exist in the whole of Islam. Not in one ayah, not in a hadith, not in a tafsir, not by a scholar. Nothing. Except, of course, if you count this typo by a modern day editor who's alive today who just happened to switch the two letters. In fact, if you Google the word Musaha, all you get is Christian websites talking about false messiahs and false prophets the Lord Jesus Christ warned about, which is kind of ironic if you think about it. And you get this one typo which happened to be on a Muslim site. I'm suspecting this is what Uthman ibn Fibin did in his homework when he went back to try and deceive this brother, thinking, okay, okay, let me try and find this word Musaha anywhere, anywhere. Oh, oh, found it. It's a typo on a footnote by a modern-day editor who's talking about the situation in the world today. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what does that say? So it says that this punishment, where about different crimes and things, has been handed down to us uh -huh. from the laws of all of the Masis, which is all of the Anbiya. It doesn't say the law of someone, because if that was the case, it wouldn't have Al, the definite article. For example, to say the Sharia of prophets, it would say Shariat al-Anbiya, saying the word Sharia without the definite article. But here, it says al-Sharia with the definite article, meaning that the word coming after it is relating to it and describing it. Grammatically, it does not make sense how he's lying about it. It is not relating to prophets or messengers. It is relating to the Sharia itself because of the al, the definite article that we can see preceding it. Go, go home, pick up your Nahu books. I'm out. Now brace yourself for the level of deception we discovered when we spoke to the brother who was there at the park with Othman. He took a picture of the paper that Othman was reading from and on zooming in onto the paper, we saw very clearly how Othman had copied and pasted the footnote from the bottom of the page and included it right next to the words of the hadith. The words of the hadith said, just to the right of the yellow box here, Warn the thief, but do not cause him to fear. The Arabic for that is Rawa Sarak Wala Turai. Then right next to it in the yellow box it says Fandur Aziz al Qari. So see, dear reader. He included the note for the dear reader in the wording of the hadith, as if they were part of the hadith. He doctored the hadith to include those words, copied and pasted them side by side in a word document then printed it out as if he had got it from the original feel free to zoom in pause and check for yourself how the wording of the footnote has been copied and pasted and matches exactly as is on the paper we'll also link the website in the description for you Othman ibn Fibin caught red-handed copying and pasting a modern day person's words into the hadith of Omar as if they were said by him. Wow, shame. Uh-huh. It's masah. Ma what? Me, seen, ha, alif, mm. hamza. Ah, oh, this is so precious. He can't pronounce it, so he spells it. And notice how he pauses and looks down at the paper just one last time before he starts talking again to remind himself how to spell it. So obvious he doesn't know anything. Uh-huh. It's masah. Ma what? Me, seen. No, my friend. A sharia is known all over the Arab world as a sharia samha. And some people use the more correct term, a sharia samha. Uh, let me show you. It is not a sharia al masha as the typo said. It is a sharia as samha. Starts with a seen, an S sound for the non Arabs. Not with the meme, the M sound for the Messiah. It starts with an S, a seen. But don't take my word for it. Sharia masaha. A sharia to samha. Masaha to samha. Sharia masaha. A sharia to samha. Masaha. Samha. Sharia masaha. Sharia masaha. A sharia to samha. Your trick, destroy. Destroy, destroy. Finished and done, eh? Uthman ibn Fibin, you're the one who's finished and you're the one who's done and you're the one who's shameful deceiver like your God and your Prophet.
appealing to a footnote written by a person alive today, pretending it's a hadith, and one that has a typo in it. And he's using the typo as his argument. Who uses Arabic typos as their argument? Or Uthman ibn Fibin, the hadith graduate, student of knowledge. I'm just a student of knowledge, bro. Go, go home, pick up your Nahu books. We're gonna let him be judged and condemned by his own words. You're misquoting things and, and, and poor people that are watching your videos are being misguided because you don't know enough to actually look up the book. Destroy, destroy. destroy.